Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Latoya and this is Dual Purpose. If this is not your first time, as always, I do appreciate your support. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Today marks exactly six months since I uploaded my very first YouTube video. Honestly, I can't believe how quickly the time has gone, but in the last six months, I've learned a few things and I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to share with you six things that I've learned in the last six months since being on YouTube. Whether you are just curious, whether you're considering starting your own channel but you're not sure, whether you've decided to start a channel but you're scared, you're nervous, you don't know how to go about it, or you already have your own channel and you're just looking for some inspiration. Hopefully, the six things that I'll share in this video will help you wherever you are. Number six is motives. What is your motive for starting a YouTube channel? If you're doing it just for the money, I would suggest that you don't do it. Personally, what I've learned is that you have to have a passion for whatever you're going to do on YouTube because you've got to keep it going. Now, if money is your motive, there are many other ways that you can make money online and I would suggest that you have a look into some of those other options. But whatever your motive is for starting YouTube, the way I always think about it is that YouTube is a search engine. We often think about Google being a search engine, but YouTube is a search engine as well. I often use YouTube to search for videos on how to do things or to find out information. So consider YouTube as a search engine just like Google. So if you're going to start a YouTube channel, make sure that whatever content you are putting out there is of value to somebody else and is content that people are actually interested in searching for. Number five, just be yourself. If you don't have a bubbly, outgoing personality, that's fine. There are people that will relate to you no matter what your personality is. If you're shy, if you're quiet, there is still a place for you on YouTube. There are many YouTubers who have um, quiet voices, they are quite um, insular, but the content that they are putting out, like I said in number six, the content they are putting out is content that people are searching for. So just be yourself. Don't try Try to copy other people who are on YouTube because unfortunately you won't be able to sustain that. So just be you and you'll be absolutely fine. Number four, you've got to be passionate about your niche or about the topic that you're talking about. With YouTube, you've got to keep putting out content very often. And if you're not passionate about what you're talking about or the topic that you've chosen, unfortunately, you won't be able to keep putting out good quality content. It's not just about uploading a new video every week, every two weeks. It's about putting out good quality content. And as I said in number six, Think of YouTube as a search engine. What are people searching for? And you should be supplying the need of the people that are searching. So definitely consider which topic, which niche you want to go into and keep that in mind that you have committed to put content out based on this particular topic and that should help you. I would always say follow your passions, whatever you're passionate about, usually that's a good point to start. Number three, just get started. I remember uploading my first video and I'm the kind of person, if I say I'm going to do something, then I do that thing. So I knew that once I uploaded my first video, there was no stopping this train. So for me, I just had to get that video out. I didn't really have a full strategy or a full understanding of exactly how I was going to use the channel. I knew enough to get started, but I would say just get started. On the other side of that, I did a lot of research, I watched a lot of videos, I learned a lot, and I still do. I still take time to research, I still take time to watch other people's content that give um, tips about YouTube, and I think that's very important. So just get started, put yourself out there, and um, but bear in mind that this is, um, effectively, this is a community that you're building. So I feel that it's right to continue to develop yourself, to continue to grow, and the best way to do that is to continue to research, continue to develop yourself, as well. Number two, 
Don't compare yourself to others. This is so important. And I touched on this in one of the earlier points as well about just being yourself. Um, but don't compare yourself. I mean, it would be silly for me to compare myself to somebody that's been on YouTube for five years, somebody that has a million subscribers on YouTube um, and they've been doing YouTube for years and they've grown this amazing, fantastic community. Whereas I've only been doing YouTube for six months. So it wouldn't be wise for me to compare myself to that person because we are in two completely different part of our YouTube journey. I'm just starting out, they are much further along the journey. So I would say, don't compare yourself, don't compare your personality to others. As I said, there is room here for everybody. What's important is the content that you're putting out, making sure that it's quality content, that it's adding value, and that you are supplying the need of the users of YouTube. Number one, for me, this is probably the biggest one, um, which is why I put it at number one, and that is integrity. Please, please have integrity. Bear in mind that whatever content you put out to the world, that's your name, that's your face, that's your brand effectively. So don't put out content that is against your morals. Don't put out content that is against what you believe, content that could be offensive if your family members were watching or if your friends were watching, for example. And I would honestly urge you, don't buy subscribers, don't buy likes, comments, shares. You can do all of that, but I have grown my channel organically. I haven't paid for any promotions. I haven't paid for any subscribers. And in less than six months, I am already over 1,000 subscribers. So if that's your goal that you want to earn money from YouTube, because you can do, um, you can do that organically. And I personally think that integrity is very important. I know that lots of people do buy subscribers and all of that, but for me personally, I felt that that would go against my morals, that would go against my integrity. And so I chose not to do that yet. My channel is constantly growing. The views are increasing, subscribers are increasing, and I now do have a strategy for my channel. So over the next couple of months, there'll be lots of exciting content coming. So yeah, integrity, maintain your integrity, and please don't put anything out on the internet that you will look back in a couple of years and think, why on earth did I do that? That was so against everything that I stand for. So there you have it, six things that I've learned on YouTube in the last six months, or six things that I feel would benefit you from my experiences of being a part of the YouTube community. YouTube is a fantastic platform. I thoroughly enjoy what I do. Um, when I first started, I was really nervous, I was really shy, but I think I'm developing and I'm growing. Um, and definitely there's more to come, as I said in one of the earlier points. You've got to constantly learn, constantly develop yourself, and you will get better. Just get started, and I wish you all the best in your YouTube journey. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.